you guys what's up divine chakras here welcome back to the channel i am cranking these videos out for y'all this week so let's get it popping i want to do another segment for the solar plexus and today i want to talk about cords i want to talk about ethereal cords emotional cords 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 that are energetic frequency cords that you physically don't see okay but these cords basically hold on let me turn this light give me a little bit more light okay and by the way i'm doing a liquid fast today and my intentions with this liquid fast is to continue to build prosperity and abundancy but to also clear my frequency and to really ground myself and to stay motivated. But anyways, so, and also for the solar plexus. <laughs> so I want to talk about ethereal cords today and I want to talk about what they are and how to cut them. Okay. So basically ethereal cords are cords that attach you energetically to people. Okay. Now, what does this mean? Shalom. So this basically means that when you form a relationship with someone, so let's talk about your mother, okay? So when you form an ethereal cord with your mother, okay, that is, unless you and your mother had some horrible times or maybe you don't know your mom for whatever reason, you form a bond with her through a cord. And this cord energetically comes out of your out of your um out of your stomach um and like it literally comes out of your body okay and it goes to that person and it connects you guys almost like a telephone pole like a telephone cord and the more emotions that you have attached to this person the thicker and stronger the cord is okay so ethereal cords all right these again are spiritual energetic frequency cords everyone has cords not only do we have one cord we have several and if you've been attached to people over a lifetime where you've allowed yourself to emotionally energetically physically spiritually be connected to people these cords are attached to whoever that particular person is okay so for example you have um a husband right and let's say you divorce your husband, okay? But you guys have kids together, okay? So you have um, formed an ethereal cord with this man. Even though you no longer are with him, that cord is still there. So that's why a lot of us have like emotional attachments um, to our husbands. Um, even though we divorce them, we may still feel like we love them. We may still feel like we want to have relations with them, things like that. That is because you have not cut that ethereal cord with that person. Okay. In order for you to ascend and to become more one with your frequency, to become more one with yourself, there are cords that will have to be cut with people in order for you to move on. That is a point blank period no um negotiation you have to cut frequency cords with people that no longer serve you okay so if you feel like you have an attachment to someone and this person has hurt you and you're like you know shalom oh my god i gotta get rid of this person trust me when i say that when you clear your your energetic field you also have to cut cords okay whether that means you are we're friends with someone and they're judging you with your new lifestyle and you just feel like they no longer serve your new lifestyle they no longer serve your life purpose and what you're about right now then it's time for you to cut that ethereal cord now we are going to talk about how to cut them but first i want to make sure that you guys understand that cords are formed with people even if you no longer talk to them or if you form some type of relationship with them. So let's say you have a crush on someone and like a lot of people say, oh my God, my twin flame. Oh my God, like my twin flame, I've never even met them, but I see them all the time and I'm so in love. Like you have formed a cord from your body to them because you have now attached an emotion to them energetically and, free and through frequency, okay? 
frequency is real, you guys. And if you're conscious um, and you understand and you you are about this conscious life and these are I'm talking to my people that are, are trying to understand what I'm talking about or, you know, are still trying to come into this whole conscious and frequency um, life. Frequency is real. You can feel frequency. You can see frequency. Like if you see like sound waves, that's sound frequency. Um, you know, when you see like, like, um, like if you see like a sound and you see like the waves going through the, um, through the air from like a sound wave that you see with your eye, that is frequency. If you see the hertz, that's frequency. You, that's literally frequency. Frequency has um, it's, it can be, it's not tangible, but it's definitely something that you can feel, you can hear, um, and you can sense. Okay. It is all there. If you close your eyes and you put your hand in front of yourself like this and you move it, that is your aura. Okay. That is your, what we call electromagnetic field. Okay. You give off electromagnetic field fields. Okay. A certain amount of it just like spirits when you hear spirits talking when you feel spirits around you that is their electromagnetic field that's why you see people that do like ghost hunting and stuff and they use those um electromagnetic field um sensors to sense it can you turn that down baby to sense it you can literally you can literally sense a spirit through that electromagnetic field um device okay and th they actually use that for like electron like like when they're like going through a new house and they're trying to find like you know like the electric electrical wires and things like that like literally um actually looking for frequency so these things aren't just something that you know this new age that you guys call new age <laughs> that we just made up like this shit has been around forever like since the beginning of time beginning of time beginning of time frequency is something that is real sound frequency energetic frequency energetic attachments are real okay so healing the solar plexus how does this go with the solar plexus shalom okay so we all know that the solar plexus is the seat of the ego, okay? It is also all about our emotions, okay? It is also all about our decision-making, going with our gut feeling, going with our intuition, our gut, okay? If you are energetically attached to someone and they've been hurting you time and time again, and your frequency is not matching Okay, what's in your head, meaning your intuition is telling you this person is not right, but you are still attached to them through your ethereal cord, there's going to be a battle within yourself. Why? Number one, your ego is gonna take over. Your ego is gonna say, Man, you tripping, whatever, and I ain't like that. Like, no, I still love him, that's my man. But then on the other side, he's cheating on you, he's hurting you, he's he's breaking your heart. And you, your energetic field, your frequency is being lowered, lower vibration, right? Because he's doing all these things to you, okay? But remember, your gut and your intuition is saying this man is not right. But because you've been dealing with him, because you probably fell in love with him, and, you know, you formed that bond with him, that is literally that ethereal cord that is being compromised, all right? That's that, that's that ethereal core being compromised. Your baby daddy, your, your husband, your baby mother, um, ex-lovers, all those cords need to be cut. If you're trying to heal yourself, your sacral, your solar, your heart, those that's where those, those cords attach themselves. Right here in that core center body. That's where we, the love, okay, the love, the ego, and you know the reproductive organs that's where those cords are attached and that energy is being compromised because we are not detaching ourselves from people that we need to detach ourselves from in order for us to move forward in frequency in order for us to elevate and ascend okay for our kundalini to rise those ethereal cords got to be cut you guys let's just be real they got to be cut and if you're meditating enough and you're really focusing on your spirituality and developing a sense of self, the universe will start to show you these people that need to go. And even though this person is out of your life, let's just say, I'll go back to the best friend example. If you've um, stopped talking to your best friend or whatever because your best friend isn't supporting you in the, in the spirituality life that you're into, all right? And let's say you cut them off, but you, you cut them off, meaning you stop talking to them physically, 
but did you energetically and spiritually cut yourself off from them? No. Did you freak? Did you did you cut off that frequency that you have with them? No. Okay. So that means that it's time to cut these cords. Okay. How does this apply to the solar plexus? Number one, it messes up your ego. Number two, it messes up your gut intuition and instincts. Number three, it messes with your confidence level and your ability to make better decisions because you are still dealing with people that no longer serve you. Okay. So Shalom, how do we cut cords? I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. So cutting cords is, are, it's, it's an easy ceremony. But the thing about the ceremony is that once you cut cords, you have to maintain your cords being cut. Okay. Which basically means that you, through your thought process, through your intuition, through your gut, through your frequency, you're going to have to continue to make sure that those relationships stay cut. So that means that you may cut the cord, but a few months down the road, that person might try to come lurking back in your life. And it is up to you to make sure that you maintain that cord being cut because what will happen, the cord will run itself out of your body and attach itself to that person again. So yes, you are going to, the, the universe is going to hold you responsible. Okay. But the universe is going to help you to energetically cut, but it's going to be up to you again. It's going to be up to you to make sure that you cut yourself off from this person energetically. All right. So what do, what do I like to do to cut cords? So what I like to do, there's a couple things that you can do to cut cords. Hold on y'all, sorry. <clears throat> so the first thing that you can do to cut cords is do a ceremony where basically you clear all your energy, you center yourself, okay? Clear all your energy, you center yourself. And you basically lay down straight back and you call in whatever energy you want to call in. You want to call in your divine parents, your ancestors, your angels of divine love and light. You want to call in all spirits that are going to help you and protect you and be for the highest good of you, but also for your highest vibrations. Okay. What you're going to do is you are going to draw the cord out with that particular person's name attached to that cord. So for example, I am energetically cutting myself off from Sicily. I don't know. Some random name. I don't want to offend anyone. <laughs> I don't know nobody named Sicily. So I'm just coming up with that name. Okay. That's the only reason why I said that because I don't want to energetically cut off a cord that I don't want to cut off. So I'm going to say Sicily. All right. I'm energetically cutting my cord from Sicily. So you draw the cord out like this. All right. That energetic cord. And then you literally, because you're going to have your hand free, but I'm just going to do it with this hand. You're, you're going to take your hand and you're going to slice the cord. Slice the cord. Slice the cord. Slice the cord. Until you start to feel your body getting lighter, okay? Until you feel energetically that you have sliced that cord. And your intuition will tell you. You might even have your spirits talking to you, telling you, slice it again. Slice it again. Slice it again. Because remember... The thicker, the, 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 the more attached you are to that person, the more emotions that you have attached to that person, the stronger that cord is going to be. OK, so you'll keep repeating that until you finally are completely done. Now, of course, the, you can start the ritual out however you want to start the ritual out if you want to sage the area to get all the energy out. But of course, you always want to make sure that you close the ceremony out. Um, either by blowing out a candle or by closing the ceremony saying that you're physically closing the ceremony and you thank the energies um, that you called in for helping you cut the cords. OK, so that is one way you can do it by just laying down and doing it like that. Another way you can do it is you can actually meditate and visualize the cords coming out of you doing the same thing without the hand motions and just imagine yourself detaching yourself away from that person. OK, so that's another way. And you can be sitting up erect, of course, in the lowest position, which is the normal um, meditation position. And then you could be imagining in your head that you're cutting those cords with like a sword or something like some type of golden magical sword that's like lit up. That's a uh, protection. Um, then you can do that and calling in Archangel, My Archangel Michael or any of your protective archangels are a great way to um, help support you through the cord cutting process because it can definitely be very emotional, especially if you're cutting at the sacral. Um, it can be very, very emotional, even at the heart. Um, it's, it's very emotional when you cut cords. So I just want to throw that out there. Another way that you can cut cords, which is what um, I did for my group in the past is um, at the sacral chakra, I did a uh, distance Reiki 
session where I actually cut cords within the rate key session for them. Um, and that's basically just cutting cords with anyone that doesn't serve their higher good. OK, now you don't necessarily have to do this because some people like to name people specifically. But again, Reiki is smart energy and it's going to go where it needs to go. So it into it intuitively knows for that particular person which cords to cut. OK, so those are the three main ethereal cord cutting ceremonies or, or rituals that I like to do. Excuse me, or that I am familiar with. There may be others out there. OK, you can even like. Um, release the person from you by lighting, um, by writing their name on a piece of paper and lighting it up and, and throwing it and saying, you know, I no longer um, am attaching myself to you. I'm releasing you now. I'm cutting the ethereal cord. You can light their name um, with the flame and throw it out. Just like you would do if you're doing a releasing ceremony, ceremony, you can actually release the person through the same way. So always of course make sure that you put that love back into you put those positive affirmations back into you to help build up your confidence so that you really um can start to to mend yourself to heal yourself energetically frequent frequent wise as well emotionally physically too um especially if you've been like in an abusive situation or it's like a um like a molest molestation situation, those cords are attached because again, those are emotional um, emotional feelings that you're having towards someone. It may not be like emotion, like you love them, but because they did something to you that 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 messed up, you know, mess mess with your with your bodily uh, frequency, then you are of course um, attached to them through the ethereal cord. So, I just wanted to throw that out there, you guys. Um, again, this was another segment to the solar plexus this will be the last one for the week all right next week starts the heart chakra and i cannot wait to talk about the heart because we're going to be talking about matters of the heart which is going to be absolutely amazing um the heart is what basically balances the whole entire chakra system out so thanks you guys for joining me make sure you check out my previous video um when we talk about jesus christ and we talk about star families we talk about divine parents and we just chit chat about some other things too um and then of course the the video previous to that was the truth about the unk okay so i hope you guys have a amazing rest of the week i love you all so much make sure you keep your frequencies up make sure you get out there and you research um the really really real what's going on really real out here um don't watch too much politics <laughs> don't get too caught up in the matrix all right make sure you keep your um make sure you keep your head up and you stay positive you guys because everything will work out in your favor okay i love you guys so much thanks for watching check you guys in the next one peace